Hey y'all, I know everyone is just dying to know how to make their own gingham pattern like this in Photoshop, so I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to get it done in less than a minute, and I'm also going to show you how to save it to your pattern swatches for future use. So let's close this one out and get started. The first thing we have to do is open up a new document. Now I've got mine preset to 60 pixels squared because I like that size for this. You can do 80 by 80 or 100 by 100, whatever you're comfortable with, just keep it square and you will keep it simple. Now I'm going to blow this up a few times by hitting control plus just to make it easier for everyone including me to see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to come over here and I want to change my color simply because we just saw this gingham. So let's make this one different. Let's go ahead and make the foreground a nice bright yellow. And I'm going to make my background a nice dark blue. From here what we've got to do is get to our gradient tool located under the paint bucket tool. We're going to select that. We want to make sure that we're going from foreground to background, that we've got linear gradient chosen. We want our blend mode to be normal, and our opacity has to be set to 100%. Now we're going to do this on a 45 degree angle going from the lower left hand to the upper right hand corner, and we're going to just click and drag, but we're not going to drag all the way. We're going to go about three quarters of the way. And what we're looking for is this murky dividing line between the two. You can see right here it's neither yellow nor blue. For me it's green. If you've chosen different colors, of course it'll be a different color. But once we've got that set and we've got it where we want it, let's go to Filter. And then we're going to go to Distort and we're going to choose Wave. On the Wave we want to make sure that our type is set to Square. With 60 pixels the number of generators has to be at least two to get it done right and then anything over that doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it across. What's more important right now is the wavelength. Because this is 60 pixels, our minimum wavelength has to be 60. And when I type that in and I tab over, what you'll see is that the maximum will automatically move to the minimum plus one because the max can't be less than the minimum. So we've got 61 and as soon as I do that you see that we've got the beginning of our pattern. On the amplitude, what we're looking for as we drag it is this corner is here to change. We're going to see these two squares kind of change colors. Now all I'm going to do is drag the top bar over to the right, which will also drag the bottom bar. And you'll see it just flatten out right there. And I'm going to back that up again just so that you can look and compare it. But here we've got the yellow tint in these corners. And as soon as I drag it over and it flattens out, that's all I need. From there it doesn't matter if I move my amplitude up to 800 or back down to 100. It just We just want to make sure that this is flattened out. Okay. Now we want to set this to repeat edge pixels and click OK. And there is our pattern. Now you won't see all these little hash marks in there. That's from being blown up too far. But we're going to select all and then we're going to go to edit and we're going to choose define pattern. And let's name this blue green and click OK. And now our pattern is saved. If we want to test it out, let's go ahead and open up a new document. And let's make this one 600 pixels. That will give us 10 rows across and 10 rows up and down. And then we come over here. We're going to go back to our paint bucket located under the gradient tool now. And we're going to come up here, change foreground to pattern. We're going to hit our drop down box right here and scroll down till we find our new pattern right there select it and then come over here and all we got to do is fill it and there you have it a brand new gingham pattern and like I said it takes you less than a minute to complete I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope y'all come back